Well, about 20 years ago, I arrived in London to go to university and needed to pay my way through school. So I worked in a place called Fred's, which was a private members club. Um, and as I say, within the first few years of my life in London, I met everybody I'd ever dreamed of meeting. So Francis Bacon, David Bowie, Michael Jackson, Prince, all these people came into that place for a drink. And also, obviously, I worked with Dick Bradsall, the seminal bartender. He was a great influence on me. He was, you know, a fundamental influence on my early career. After that, I realised that bartending was not actually just about being behind the bar and behind that plank of wood and making drinks. It was actually about service. And the guy who taught me that was a guy called John Davey, who was a, like a three-star Michelin maitre d', who taught me that you have to look at the wider picture. You have to broaden your horizons and look around rather than just concentrating solely on the bar. Look at what everybody's experiencing. I've always thought it's very important to use ingredients and products that are actually local to where you come from. So in London, gin would be a natural ingredient to use. But also, you know, we have great fruit here. I can go out foraging in London. I know it sounds odd, but I can go out foraging in London. So I go around the east end of London picking berries and picking herbs and fruit, etc. And using those local products. I think it's really important to do that. About five or six years ago, I discovered that I was a little bit annoyed by Americans coming over and telling us that over in Europe, we couldn't make cocktails, that you know, the American big contribution to culture was the cocktail. And I discovered that this other drink, this mixed drink, had been invented in Europe called the punch. And it was a little riposte to Americans coming over and annoying us Europeans. So this punch thing came about. It had been in Europe since the 17th century at least, and it predated the cocktail by at least a couple of hundred years. First thing, before you make the punch, chop your ice block. Right, so when you get bored of doing that, get a nice pick and then take yourself off a block. And then you should have a nice block of ice. A little bit of garnishing, some blood orange slices, and a few more. Top. Then assemble the punch. Dead simple. We do one part beef eater. One. One part slow gin. One part Campari. Three parts blood orange juice, preferably served out of fish's gullet. Can't find a fish, find at least a blood orange. And then finally, So there we have it, punch a la milanese. Cheers, punch a la milanese. <laughs>